Hello Gillsborough and welcome to our Friday Celebration Worship Assembly. The candle is lit because we know that Jesus is the light of the world and is all around us. Okay, well it is the 11th of December today and it is National Christmas Jumper Christmas Outfit Day and as you can see I have got my Christmas jumper on and I've also got a special headdress that Mrs Martin has brought all of the teachers to wear today just to make our day that little bit brighter. I hope you're all in your sparkly, non-uniform Christmassy outfits today and I hope you have a wonderful day. Now it is our last celebration worship assembly before our Christmas holidays because we finish next Thursday. So I am going to start with our very important value certificates. So this week's value certificate for year reception one class. Now, I know Mrs Shields, Mrs Cox and Mrs Price have thought very hard about this, but they have decided to give the certificate to Jaden. They are so proud of you, Jaden. The value they've given it for is positivity. And it was actually messaged to me that you have got a fabulous can-do attitude and you have been a super Joseph in their nativity play. So well done, Jaden. We're really, really proud of you. Okay, Mrs Wood and Miss Llewellyn have been back all week this week and they have decided to give their value certificate to Mallory. Well done, Mallory. And it's for perseverance. Now, I've been told, Mallory, that you always try your hardest whatever you do even when the going gets tough so even when you find something really hard you still keep on going and trying that is a brilliant brilliant attitude to have good girl we're really really proud of you okay mrs holcomb so class three four mrs holcomb has given her value certificate to Jessie Lodge. Well done, Jessie. Good girl. And it's for a very important value and that value is kindness. Now, Mrs Holcomb has told me that you are so kind and mature and she actually put for being a kind, supportive person to everybody. What a brilliant value to have. Well done, Jessie really really lovely to hear and you've made my day good girl okay class five now mr fletcher has given his value certificate to chloe well done chloe now mr fletcher says it's for cooperation and he has put you just get on with your work whatever it is with all of the tasks set and you follow instructions really, really well. Good girl, Chloe. So you'll always know what you're doing, so you'll always be learning. Brilliant, you're a superstar, well done. And Mrs Mills has given her value certificate this week to somebody for friendship. And she's given it to Ben B. Well done, Ben. Now, what she said, she has actually put, he's, he's a fantastic friend to all and has a very, very caring attitude. Brilliant. You know, it's so lovely to hear all these brilliant values and all this kindness that's happening at Gillsborough Primary School because it's you children that make this school so wonderful. Right, I think they all deserve a huge clap. Well done, everybody. Okay, it is house point badge time now. So we have our bronze, our silver and our gold house point badge. Now, I have six children who have achieved their bronze house point badge today. And those children are Louisa, from reception, good girl, Louisa, and Edie 
from year two, well done Edie. And then from year six, we have Seb, Jaden, Alex and Ruby. Brilliant, well done children. You will all be getting your bronze badge very soon to wear with pride on your jumper. You have achieved 50 house points this term. Brilliant, well done. Let's give them a big clap. Okay, I now have two children who have achieved their silver house point badge and they have achieved 100 house points this term. And they're both from year six and they are Harry C and Ben B. Can we give them a huge clap? Well done, both of you. I have two pen licences to give out today and they're both in Mr Fletcher's class. Now these children have proven that they can work neatly in their books so Mr Fletcher will be handing you a licence and your pen today and it goes to Poppy and Serena. Can we give them a Big clap. Well done, both of you. We now have two children in year six who we need to celebrate as well because they have made some achievements, not in school, because we don't just celebrate the things that we achieve in school, but outside of school. Now, those two children are Katie and Evie in year six. And at the weekend, they have achieved their chef at home badge. Brilliant, they're part of Welford Scouts. And for this, oh, they had to do so much. They actually had to prepare a weekend menu and both girls cooked two dishes. Now, they didn't just have to think about what the food was going to be, but they also had to think about food preparation, food storage, very important things these are, cooking technique, and also waste recycling. But they obviously did a fantastic job, so I'd like to give them a huge clap for that. But also, they have achieved their Caillou Intermediate Grading in Karate. So that means that they've got two brown tags um, that they've added to their purple and white belt for this. Soon, there'll be a brown belt. That is a brilliant achievement, girls. Well done. We're all so proud of you. Can we give them a huge clap? Okay, it's now time to announce our school mascot competition winners. Now you need to listen very carefully. And we had lots and lots of entries and we raised over 20 pounds for this competition. Really proud of you children. But these are the winners. Well done to those children.
Brandon, Edie, Rosa, Imogen and Aidan. Your actual mascots will be displayed in our entrance area so we can see our mascots for each of our houses when we walk into the school. Well done all of you. Okay, it's now time to announce our house point team winner. You've been collecting points all this term and it's been so close, it really has. But you're now going to find out which team has won. Now, your prize, your treat, this term is a really good one, actually. The school council came up with the idea that you can wear your pyjamas to school for the day. Up to you. Nice and comfy. You can just get out of bed and then stroll into school. And also, you're going to be working in your bubbles and you're going to be creating some nice treats. I'm not going to tell you anymore. Your teachers will be able to tell you the rest. So, are we ready? Fingers crossed, teams. Let's see who has won our house point treat for our autumn term 2020. Okay, it's our final. Who has won our house points for autumn term? Deep breaths, everybody. Okay, so we have fire, air, earth, and water all very close. So fire have finished the autumn term on 567. Air on 501, so fire still in the lead at the moment. Earth on 524. Fire still in the lead, can water beat them? 559, so we now know that the winner is Fire, well done, Firehouse team. You've got a real, real treat to enjoy next week. Give yourselves a huge pat on the back. Well done. And well done all the other houses as well. Earth, air, water, you were all so, so close. So, let's see who will be the winners of our spring term. Get as many house points as you can, everybody. Well done, Fire. Congratulations, Fire. Brilliant. Well done. You've got a real treat coming to you next week. Okay, it's now time for our reflection. We've done a whole term, autumn term, and we're nearly at the end. It is very, very near to Christmas and the new year. So I'm going to reflect on this in our prayer. If you'd like to make this your prayer, then say Amen at the end. Father God, as we end this term full of excitement about Christmas, may we enjoy the preparations and time at home with our families and also remember children for whom this is a sad and lonely time. As we think about giving cards and presents to our friends, May we remember the whole meaning of Christmas and the best gift of all, Jesus born in a stable. Amen. Okay, children, we're now coming to the end of our celebration worship assembly. We're going to finish with Reverend Nat and her actions to her song. But I'd also like to say, that I hope you all have a wonderful last week of term and I hope you all have a fantastic Christmas and New Year. But most importantly, stay safe. Take care everybody and I'll see you very, very soon. And so we come to that time of our song, which of course, no singing, but we can use our bodies. We can twist and shout, we can jump for joy. So let's find some space and do our actions now. Jesus is born. Clap, twist, the angels 
said, Don't be afraid. The angel said, Don't be afraid. The angel said, Don't be afraid. God gave us baby Jesus. The angel said, Don't be afraid. The angel said, Don't be afraid. The angel said, Don't be afraid. God gave us baby Jesus. Said, the, the shepherd said, Hear the good news. The shepherd said, Hear the good news. God gave us baby Jesus. The shepherd said, Hear the good news. The shepherd said, Hear the good news. The shepherd said, Hear the good news. God gave us baby Jesus. Clap, twist for joy. Let's twist for joy, twist for joy, twist for joy. Jesus is born, let's twist for joy, twist for joy, twist for joy. Jesus is born, let's jump for joy. Jump, jump, jump. 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 Let's clap for joy. Let's clap for joy. Let's clap for joy. Let's clap for joy. Let's twist for joy. Let's twist for joy. Let's twist for joy. Let's twist for joy.